getting good, people. All right, transform your home from drab to fab with simple and stylish decor you can create yourself. Crafting expert Lynn Lilly is here to show us how it's all done. Welcome back, Lynn. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I, I was looking at the show today and I said, of course Lynn Lilly is showing us how to make yeah, furniture. She know, does it all. It's accent furniture, yes. so it's easy, so anyone can do it. Okay, if you say so. Okay, let's do so it. So first up, we are gonna make a side table. Okay. All you need for this, mm -hmm. a wooden tabletop. Okay. So you can get this at your hardware store, five dollars. Right. Five dollars for this Five guy. Five dollars. Okay. Also, I just want to say real quickly that one of the things I love about you is that you alert me to things I did not know I could get at the hardware, hardware store. store. There's a lot I of stuff. I didn't know that. Yes. Right? Okay, okay, excellent. So yeah, they sell this in the wood aisle. Yes. Just ask for the tabletops. They'll okay. show you right where it is. And you need a waste basket. So okay. a wire waste basket that you may have at home. Okay? So, or you can get it at your like Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Goods, those kind of stores. Right. Now we're going to marble the top of this. I think that's what makes this piece really cool. Okay. We've marbled before on the show, but we've done dipping marbling. This is a little different because we're using a big surface. Okay? All right. So we're using a marbling medium that actually turns your acrylic paint into marbling substance, I guess you could call okay, it, sure. so that they don't mix together when you pour the colors. All right. All right, so what I want you to do, I've already poured the acrylic paint in the cup. I want you to go ahead, I'm gonna open this for you, okay. and pour enough in here so that it's the exact same level as okay, the paint. Okay, let me go ahead so and get So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, I gotta get it you exact. You got it, you got it? Because I am a scientist. Perfect, okay. And so this okay. is a special <laughs> medium. You have to buy this at the craft store, um, you know, Make sure that it says you mix it with acrylic paint, right? It's by Tester's okay. Craft. Got it. Okay. Um, okay. So now what I want you to do is I want you to pour this into the paint. Pour the okay. No, nope, other way. Just pour kidding. the marbling medium okay. into the paint. Okay. So remember right. one to one ratio. So no matter how much paint you use, you do the exact same amounts and go ahead and Got mix it. that up for me. All right. So you do this with acrylic paint. Pick out your colors that you think are going to work together. Right. And this is so cool. You can do this in all different kinds of stuff. We're doing our furniture. You can even do it. I've done it on fabric before and it okay. works. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take all of our colors. So each of us is going to grab two. Okay. And these have all been marbled. They've all been marbled. So we okay. did the exact same thing to all of these colors. All right. Now all we're going to do, this is the fun part, put okay. one in each hand. I'm excited. This okay. Is Hold on. Fun. It's fun. You can do this with the kids too. You can get these at your local doctor's office. Stop this. Okay. okay. Just deal mix All right. Again. And just start pouring. Okay. All. Ooh. Around, right? Oh, this is so fun. Isn't this so fun? Yes. You want to mix your colors. So pour so you get kind of an even distribution, but see oh. how, right, they're not mixing okay. together. It's and excellent. then, okay, so put your cups down. And then what you want to do is you just want to take it and you want to shift a little oh. bit to get the paint to move across the table. Okay. And see how the colors are actually not like mixing yes. together, not getting those like muddy colors. I don't know, for some reason why I want to do like the ghost thing with you, Lynn. I know. Can we do this? Can you get this shot? Okay. I don't know what cool. song that right? is that's right? playing, but I just feel like I have that moment. I feel like we're having okay, like sorry. an intimate paint moment right now. <laughs> What's happening? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So that's amazing. And then you let it drip over the rest. So you'd want it to come over all of the edges. Okay. And then it will drip. So it's pretty it's self-leveling too. Once you get it pretty fully covered, sure. let it sit for about 24 hours. 24 right? hours. Okay. Now you don't have to put any coating on top of this. That's the cool part. You can put a, a finish on it if you want, but it's strong enough to be durable. So then you take your waste basket. Let's step over the finished product okay. over here. Look at this. You take your waste basket and just staple your waste basket to the bottom of it. Your waste basket's upside down, and now you have a nice side table that you could use indoors or outdoors. I love it, Lynn. That looks great. You have How to fun is that? We just marbled it's on the show for the first time. It's an easy project that exciting. anyone could do. Okay, okay I so love it. I now can our do next that. one I'm kind of excited about. All right. Okay, so. Everyone's got these five gallon buckets. Sure. Right. I mean, you've got these things lying around house. If you don't, you can okay. go to your hardware store. Every hardware store sells them. It's about $3 for the bucket, about $1.95 for the top. Okay. So you're going to grab one of these. What really you do. Really nickel and dime you over there. I know. Okay. Okay. So what you do is you want to make sure that you take off the handle. So just use some pliers to pull the handle off. Okay. We're not going to do that on camera. It takes sure. a little muscle. Okay. All right. Can so go ahead and set that down, down for okay. me. So you've got your bucket. You're also going to want to buy foam. So feel this guy. Okay. Right. So right. they sell this at any of the like fabric stores. It's a furniture foam. Got so it. So what we did was we took our bucket furniture and we already foam. did the first step. Okay. So we wrapped it all the way around. You can see we left the bottom open. Right? Yes. And then we cut out a piece and we also put it on the top. Okay. So go ahead and shove the lid down in there for me. Got it. Now we're not putting anything heavy inside of it right now, but if you want to make sure that it has some weight to it, mm -hmm. you want to put some sand in there or some rocks, something that's going to keep it sturdy so when you use it as a footstool sure. or even just a little stool, you don't want it to fall over. Okay. Okay, next, you're going to get batting. 
So batting, you also get it at your fabric store. Got it. So we're gonna go ahead and just roll this guy down. I want you to take some of our glue. glue. So we're using Kidding. a foam glue because we're working okay. on foam. So go ahead and put some glue around the edges for me. Okay. You can also use a fabric glue as well. We're gonna be using Fabri-Tac in just a second for the next step. Okay. So go ahead and roll that. I'm gonna start okay. rolling up. All right. Now, you're gonna wanna actually let this dry in between steps, but because we're doing some TV magic, right. we don't have time to let sure. it dry. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some pins and okay. just put it in there for now, okay? okay? Don't worry. So let it dry for about 30 minutes in between just so that glue starts to just stick it right on into that oh, foam. Oh, like straight you got in? The foam. Ah, yep. got it, This okay. is just for us to hold it, so we can actually move on to the next Look, step. Give me I'm one more over here. You're crafting. Okay, this is okay, exciting. Okay, so now you want to pick out a fabric, right? So a durable fabric. If you're going to do this for outdoors, you want a fabric that's weatherproof, okay? Okay. But we're just using a canvas fabric because we're going to use it for indoors. Sure. So you want to cut your piece of fabric so that it's actually going to okay. go all the way around. What right. we did was we fringed the bottom of it. If you can see, we cut fringes. Okay. This is going to help it fit around the bottom okay. so that it goes around the curve. Got it. All right. So, same thing. Now you're gonna use your fabric glue. Okay. So grab that fabric this, pack okay. for me, and I want you to just go ahead and add some glue to right okay. on the batting here. Okay. Right? Got it. Got it. We're, we're running out of time, this. but we're gonna Okay, so real quick, show all right, so what we wanna do, grab some pins for me too, because okay. we'll pin it in place so that you can actually see Exciting. how this is going to come together. So got a right. pin for me, pin, 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 pin. Now, you uh, you obviously cut out all the materials that yes. we needed, but this is relatively quick, as you can see. Right, and here's the deal. If you don't off. get to see the whole thing, you miss some of these steps, we've actually got a video on craftboxgirls.com okay. that shows you the steps. Excellent. All right, so you're gonna stick it back up, right? Now, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push your foam in there for your okay. top. All right. We've got our batting on top, got it. right? And then you're gonna come back with your glue, and you're gonna actually cinch it together and then you come back with your top. All right. Right? Okay, we're gonna finish it, Lynn. Right? It looks incredible. Come back with your top. Well, and then it's gonna look incredible. It's gonna look incredible. Yes. You're gonna glue your top in and around and tuck in your edges, right? Okay. So as you tuck in your edges, since we don't have time to glue, I'm just gonna do it so you guys okay. can see it. You, you know what, and this edges. is also great for, I mean, I've had chairs re-upholstered, and yep. you always have a little leftover right? fabric, so And you then once you get it okay. tucked and glued, okay. you're gonna come back in with your trim, All right. and then you've got your bottom pieces that you will then go ahead and glue around the bottom, right? Okay. And you wanna do it pretty taut, and then you finish your bottom just with another piece of fabric. So All check right, out Lynn. this guy. Okay, That is it. what it looks like. You can see the bottom is finished off, right? Looks Doesn't great. Doesn't open. You can use it as a stool or a footstool. All right, perfect. And if you want to see it not as rushed and right. more ideas like these, visit <laughs> Lynn Lilly at craftboxgirls.com. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. I've never made furniture before. I know, right? I feel so accomplished. Well, I think you did most of it. But anyway, all right. Thank you very much.